Hey y'all, welcome back to Sin City Review. Well, I finally finished up this uh, Springfield long slide, a 6 inch. Um, there's some custom work to it and uh, looks much like actually my Springfield operator. So uh, let's go ahead and check it out. Get some better lighting here. There we go. Okay, so as you can see, here's mine on top. And there's the other on the bottom. So. Did a pretty good job color matching. As you can see, looks pretty awesome. So, anyways, that's mine. Previously viewed, this is a um, a six-inch long slide, um, of course without a reel. Uh, same color, my kind of a uh, custom color I blended from Cerakote, the Midnight Bronze. Of course, a little bit of black in the in the uh, burnt bronze, and uh, that's what it turns out to be. Got some VZ grips on here. Um, stock trigger. All the internals are all, um, uh, what do you call it, Wilson Combat. Wilson Combat bulletproof stuff. Uh, the beaver tail, the, uh, what do you call it, the uh, ambi safety, the mainspring housing, the internals, the sears and all that stuff. I reworked the sears and did a nice little trigger job for this piece. It's actually almost as good as my trigger job, if not as good from Nighthawk. I just reprofiled the uh, the sear and just made it just a little more crisp. But all in all, it turned out to be an awesome pistol. If I do say so. He wanted to leave the uh, takedown pin or the slide release pin uh, traditional style, not blocked and sanded like mine that you see there. You want to keep it traditional, so that's cool. Um, but the crowning achievement on this gun, besides the trigger job, is this barrel. Check this thing out. That is rad. So it's completely blocked to the frame. I mean, you, get, you can see nothing protrudes. Then you slowly turn it a little. And there you go, there's that sheen. That is just awesome. High polish. Come on, camera focus. There we go. There's your intimidation factor. Don't worry, this thing is checked. Uh, there's actually a snap cap in it right now. So I'm going to dry fire in a second and show you what it looks like. Oh, that looks awesome. Everything's just black and the bronze. No shiny pieces. Except for that barrel crown, which just is like a gem. It's just awesome. Look at that warm glow of that color. Just changes so awesome. You see my previous video, I kind of walked around with mine and changed all the different colors. Went from like a green to like a more, uh, how you'd say, like a more glow, like see right now how it's more bronzy and tan in different lighting situations. Come back over here, it's a little more uh, like greenish color, like an army green. Anyways, let's check out this trigger. So, it's every bit as good as mine is right now. It just has a little bit of take up. So you have your take up, and it just breaks so crisp. It's awesome. Again, the take up and just crisp break. It is just a perfect tricker. I love it. Did a really good job on that as well. I think he's going to love this pistol. I like it. I don't want to give it back. It matches mine too well. I'd have a kind of twins right here if I kept it. Which, of course, I'm not. It's not mine, but I like it a lot. I almost like it more than mine in a way. It's just different. It's more classic without the rail and, you know. The long slide definitely has a, a beauty to it, especially without the barrel protruding, without a bushing. I mean, that is just unique as can be. Doesn't get much better than that. I mean, that is a very sweet pistol. Kind of envious of my uh, the guy I'm giving it back to. Mine's cool too, of course. I love it. Don't get me wrong. Something classic about that bushing and everything, but that bull barrel, when you chamfer those in or crown them in like that, that is just awesome.
there we go, changing the colors up for you. More of like an OD greenish type scheme. Put a different lighting on it. Bam, change. Pretty awesome. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, got plenty more to come in the near future here. Uh, got a couple more pistols I'm working on. Right now I actually got a shotgun, uh, an old school browning over there. So a humpback, whatever they call those guys. Old, old school. Actually, let me grab it real fast. Which I'll see. Just a quick little view. Yep, this guy's coming up next in the near future. Just a quick little view of him. Gonna be all Cerakoted up. The guy kind of wants a tactical thing done with it. Even though it's kind of classic shotgun, wants something done a little bit uh, different. And, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, any questions, any comments, uh, be sure to leave them. Don't worry, this one has a snap cap in it as well. But that trigger is awesome. This one's almost as good. Almost, I must say. But awesome in its own right. Wow, that's nice. Okay. Till we meet again.